Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today something a little bit different. So we're going to be starting a new little mini series called a FIFA experiment. We're going to be taking some of the biggest like FIFA myths, I guess you could say, and we're going to be putting them to the test and seeing them, seeing if they are true or false. So if you do have any ideas for any other FIFA experiments, do let me know in the comment section and we will do those going forward. The most liked ones are the ones that we'll be looking at first, so make sure you do like each other's comments. Without further ado, let's go into today's FIFA experiment, which today we're going to be testing out bronze benching. Now, bronze benching has obviously been a massive topic over the years in FIFA. And for those of you that don't know what bronze benching is, bronze benching can come in a couple of forms. You can see this first example, this is our team. But you look at our bench and we've got everybody is a bronze card except for Triore. The belief is that bronze benching matches you up against other lower rated teams. So the belief is that it gives you easier matchmaking because if you match up against someone else who has a lower rated squad, you can see we've got an 83 rated team now. The belief is that you'll match up against people that maybe have 84s, 85s and the belief is that those people that have those low rated squads are probably not going to be as good of players. They're not going to have the super high rated teams like we have right now because uh, for them to have an 83 rated team, they'd have to have a really poor bench. So the belief is that a lower rated team equals a lower quality player. Now what we're going to be testing out today is this. Now normally bronze benching is done like this. You have three players that you use as subs, so three players that you think you might need to sub on, three sub options. And then the rest of it is as lower rated bronze cards as you've got. And you can see now we've got an 85 rated team. And this is the team we'll be testing it against where we're going to be using a stacked bench of, this is what my normal team looks like. This is what my normal bench is. You can see now we are an 88 rated team. So we're going to have five games where we're going to be playing with an 88 rated team and seeing what the matchmaking is like and whether we do play against easier players. And then five games with the lower rated team with the bronze bench seeing if that helps us with matchmaking. So without further ado, going into it, and this is with the bronze bench. These first couple of teams, these first five teams you can see are with bronze benches. And you can see at the bottom, with the bronze bench, we managed a overall rating, the team ratings that we came up against, averaged out to 86.2. And without a bronze bench, it was 87.6. So at first glance of this very small sample size, albeit, you can see that we actually did come up against higher AC teams when we didn't have a bronze bench. When we had our normal bench, we did actually have a slightly higher rated team. We came up against some slightly higher rated teams. But here's some of the highlights from these games. Now, the interesting thing to note with these games, I didn't use the first five games in champs because the first five games in champs typically are the easiest games you'll play because they are placement games. So these games you're seeing are games six to 15. And the way that I did it was every other game I would change. So the first game I did with a bronze bench, the second game I did without and I alternated like that. So I didn't get like any rhythm or anything like that in case that affected it. So I used alternating squads. And to be perfectly honest with this, uh, with this, bronze team at first with using the bronze bench i still played you know i didn't necessarily play i would say easier players or anything like that i still managed to play a couple of decent players um the one thing that i did notice is that we didn't actually seem to score as many goals i don't know i mean these are the weird things that you come across you know but these might just be anomalies but we didn't seem to score or concede as many goals I don't know what it was, I just think it's 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 little things like that that you maybe think are things that they're not, but I didn't score as many goals, I didn't concede as many goals, I didn't score or create as many chances, the gameplay didn't feel as clear, but I don't think that's got anything to do with bronze benching, I don't see how having a bronze bench would impact that. So at first glance, these were these were some of the games that we did play with the bronze bench, and we still scored some good goals, you know, we, we still played with our great team, but I don't really think the bronze bench had too much impact in these games. Now, of course, going into it without the bronze bench. Now, these games, you can see these teams that we're coming up against are against some players. And uh, this is with our full squad. So this is with our stacked bench and our normal team, as usual. And you can see you're going up against a few more kind of what you'd class as meta teams now, I guess. A couple of Neymars, Ben Yedis, you know, Sissokos, players like that. So we're coming up against a few more meta teams. You can see now that we have the full team and not the bronze bench anymore. You can see that obviously again, Ben Yedda, Mbappe, Neymar, Mendy. So again, so you know, Traore is there. And this guy's got Team Nia Kante, Maradona. So again, you can see that without a bronze bench, we definitely played higher caliber team of players. But the belief is that you're gonna play, not, not necessarily that you're gonna play against easier players, uh, that you're gonna play against lower rated teams or anything like that. The belief is that you're gonna match up against low rated teams. And those low rated teams are going to yield in worse players. Now you can see that our record for these 10 games was 9 and 1. Which from game 6 to game 15, 
that's normally what my record would be. You know, from game six to 15, I would normally win nine and lose one. I'd maybe go eight and two if I played really badly, but the majority of the time I go nine and one. So even though you could say that we played against some lower rated teams, it didn't really impact in terms of results. Yes, maybe with without the bronze bench, we played against some slightly higher rated teams, but we still won the game. So I don't think it really, if, if you know what we want me to be honest, I don't think it really makes a difference whether you bronze bench or not. So that's what it would seem. It seems like you do play against some slightly higher rated teams without a bronze bench. But in terms of the gameplay, when you get into the game, it's then down to how, how good the opponent is. You know, some guys can have a super high rated team. As you come to the end of the end of this gameplay, and you'll see the guy that we played with the super high rated team. And we beat him 2-0 and we made him quit after 15 minutes. Some people can have really high rated teams and still be really bad players. So ultimately, from my experience and playing, you know, a little bit experimenting a little bit with this last week and obviously this week properly experimenting with it. I don't actually think bronze benching makes a difference at all. So for me personally, I think this kind of FIFA myth is false. Um, I don't believe that bronze benching makes a difference when it comes to matchmaking. I don't think it makes a difference in terms of like luck or anything like that. I don't think that, you know, the only thing I noticed was maybe I scored some more goals and I conceded some more goals. But overall, I don't really believe that bronze benching is a thing and uh, really impacts your game. As I said, I still got the same results and I still got the same score, 9-1 and one, in game 6-15 to 15, as I normally would. So if bronze benching was so prominent, uh, maybe I would have won 10-0, and 0, but I didn't. I still won 9-1, and 1, which is what I would normally win. So I don't think bronze benching makes a difference. So I think for me, that is this FIFA experiment and this FIFA myth debunked in my opinion. Now obviously we could have done it with a much, much larger sample size to get a kind of a broader spectrum of squads. But I think if it was such a prominent factor, it you know, and such a, it had such a profound effect, it would have been noticeable even in such a small sample size, and it wasn't. So for me personally, I think that's proof enough that it doesn't work. So if you do have any more FIFA experiments that you do want us to try, whether it be with more gameplay or anything else, do let me know in the comment section if you want us to test those out as well. If you did enjoy this series, new little series and you want to see it keep going do drop a thumbs up on a video and hit that subscribe button if you did find it useful and fun but that's it for today guys have an awesome day i'm out